Happy Halloween, guys. Peyton Snavek here again for another all-horror DVD and Blu-ray update. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got a lot of great titles here. Um, you know, we got four DVDs and one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine Blu-rays. Um, so, 13 movies all together. Not as much as last year, but, you know, this month has been very crazy and very busy. So, um, I tried my best, so... Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, so the first one here I got. This is one I've been wanting to see for quite a um, for quite a while. Um, um, it actually um, this is actually a Walmart exclusive. The Steelbook is. Um, that is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, here on a uh, Blu-ray. Um, I think it, this came out. I think last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but. You know the blue. Uh, it just came out the DVD and Blu-ray in in the, in the U.S. Uh, uh, this month. I know it's been on Blu-ray for quite a while. I think from <sighs> Via Vision, I think was the company that put it out. Um, here's a look at the Steelbook uh, right here, and here's the back right here, and on the inside. Um, but this movie right here is basically it's basically a horror version of Winnie the Winnie the Pooh. And Piglet, it's mainly uh, Christopher Robin. Um, I think it's him going away to college, and I think he ends up, um, I think from whatever number, he ends up marrying this girl. And of course, you know, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, they don't like that. And because of that, they go on a murderous, murderous rampage. Um, and it's supposed to be, I think, filmed in London, if I'm not mistaken. So a, a UK a movie. I gotta say, though, um, you know, this movie is getting a lot of bad reviews. I mean, it's a bad movie that I actually kind of enjoyed. I mean, it's not, like, any way perfect or anything. Um, but for what it was, I, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, in case you guys can't... Because I know it's a little bit dark right here, but uh, it's the only place I could film tonight. Um, yeah, that is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey on uh, Blu-ray. I know this director is going to be... Um, I don't know what the director's name is, uh, but he's going to be doing more movies like this, like like, kids' character, kind of like movies, and turn them into horror, um, but I can't wait, I can't wait for that, um, to see what, what he does in the future, and the next one here I got, I have to say, this movie was absolutely amazing, um, you know, it's got this great 80s style throwback for slashers, this is a movie called Pool Party Massacre, it was a very, it's very low budget, but for the budget, it was really, you know, they did a really good job with it. It's mainly about a group of these friends who are having a pool party. And there is a psychotic killer on the loose in the house, taking them off by, one by one. So, it's basically your normal kind of slasher movie. Um, but I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, for features, the director's commentary, I got location tour, gag reel, making of, and, you know, it's just a cast commentary. Yeah, that is a pool party massacre here on a uh, Blu-ray. I got some imagery. There is um some imagery on the uh the inside. I really love too, like the images that they have on here. Um, I think that's that's the, that's the uh the other side. I think um has like a Friday the Thirteenth kind of like um picture on there, and they have like a Halloween parody uh Jaws. Sleepaway Camp right there. Um, yeah, this movie was fun. I, I highly recommend this one. Um, uh, these next two right here. Um, these ones I had on Blu-ray, but for some reason, I, I, I just wanted to get them standalone. Just, you know, because... I don't know why. Just a weird collection kind of like thing going on. But, um, I had it in that, like, uh, for a while I had it in that double pack that, uh, Mill Creek put out. But it was, a uh, Hostel Part 1 and then Hostel Part 2, uh, here on Blu-ray. And, of course, they did a third one, which I have, on, a UK Blu-ray. And the, the Blu-ray of the third movie, by the way, is Region Free. But, uh, of course, these movies, um, are directed, yeah, it's written and directed by Eli Roth. And which I can't wait to see Eli Roth's new movie, uh, Thanksgiving. That looks like it's gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys saw that. You know, pick I uploaded on um, last week, uh, me uh, promoting the movie, but um, you know the first hostel right here, it says uh, Quentin Tarantino presents. So I don't 
Quentin Tarantino. He was the executive producer. Um, this one... Wait. Produced? Yeah, that's it. That he's just a producer. But this movie right here was mainly... I think these... These three friends, um, they go to, I think, Europe. Um, and, um, they basically go there just to have fun and have sex with girls and everything. Um, and of course, but what they don't know is it's, uh, you know, they go there and they're taken hostage, basically, by, um, this thing called the hostel where, um, they, they bid or pay people to get, to get them tortured and killed and everything, uh, so... It's a pretty nasty, crazy movie, but, uh, you know, it was pretty gory, though. Um, this one, yeah, you know, Hostel, and then, you know, Hostel Part 2 was more gory, um, I thought, especially the ending of Part 2, um, um, who was in this one? Yeah, uh, Heather Matarazzo was in this, uh, Lauren German, I can't remember who else was in this, uh. Yeah, but uh, Hostel Part 2 was mainly, it was these girls going to the hostel thing, and it's basically the same thing in the first one, you know. But, I know the, the second one isn't the greatest. I actually, I think when I first watched it, I didn't like it a lot. But now I, I just love it just as much as the first one. Uh, this next one right here, and I don't, I, I don't know if you could really consider this a horror, but it is a documentary, a uh, crime documentary, so I'm just like, you know, why not? I was actually, you know, I was actually in the mood to pop and buy it on Amazon, like, uh, another, like, uh, something Forensic Files related, like, uh, a crime documentary, like, do they have something on Blu-ray? And I came across this, and it was actually really interesting. Um, it, it's a, it's called Unseen here on Blu-ray. This is actually Burn On Demand. It's, what's weird about this company, it's called, uh, what's the company? Film Rise. Um, I bought this brand new, and I, it didn't get wet or anything, so they did the same thing with the Forensic Files on Blu-rays um, that I got years ago. Um, they It always comes in these, like, crinkle... They get, they get crinkly. I don't know if you guys can barely see that, I don't think. But, um... Yeah, it, it is, uh... I think it's black on the back. Yep. So, like, bootleg-ish, basically. Um, this was basically a documentary about, um... This guy in, um, Cle Cleveland. Uh, Anthony Sowell. Um, it was mainly him, the cops were interrogating him, and it was basically, like, um, all these women that he killed, I think he killed, like, 11, I mean, because I think one of the one woman survived, and, um, you know, the cops, um, searched in his house, and they found, like, all these dead bodies, I think there was some in his backyard, I think some in his basement, and, like, suitcases, there was another place that they found some, too, I, I think under the floors, I think. I, I can't remember. But that was, like, that was, like, a lot when they, um, when this happened. Um, it was a cr pretty crazy documentary, but it was really interesting, too. So, hopefully I can find more documentary, like, crime stuff I can get on Blu-ray or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, Unseen. Uh, the only features you get on this one is official trailer and deleted scenes. And, um, this next one right here, this one actually did come out the Blu-ray. It uh, got re-released on Blu-ray, uh, few months ago, actually, from, uh, um, Shell Factory, or Screen Factory, I'm sorry, but it was very limited, and I was, I was already too late for it, um, and, um, and, and the fucking thing goes up to, like, $150 now, so I think it was limited to $1,500, but, um, because I, I think the original copy that came out, which was from Scorpion Releasing, um, was out of print, too, um, but it was, uh, Sparty House Massacre, and this was mainly about this girl, I think she's at the Sparty House, and, um, she, I think she, she thinks that the house that she's at, the Sparty House she's at, it looks familiar, but she can't place it, she can't place it, I mean, you find out right away it was her childhood home, and, you know, um, the crazy guy is her father, you find, you find this out right away, you know, the crazy guy, you know, he comes out, he escapes from the institution, and goes back to the house, which is the Sparty House, and, you know, taking up, taking out a bunch of people one by one. Um, it, you know, this wasn't like the best uh, slasher movie, but um, I will keep it, however, because of how valuable it is. But uh, yeah, Sorority House Massacre. I think they did a part two at one point. If they're, I don't, I don't think it's on Blu-ray. Uh, part two. And so we got Pool Party Massacre, Sorority House Massacre. 
I know they did one called uh, The House on Swarty Row, uh, Slumber Party Massacre, I think Cheerleader Massacre, which I believe that was a uh, um, shot on video. Um, yeah. Uh, the next one here I got. Um, and these basically, and these ones, I don't even know why I rebought these ones. Um, because I have them in, 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 like, that set that came out from, uh, Mill Creek. I got Vacancy on Blu-ray again. Um, you know, such a fun movie about, you know, Kate Beckinsale, Luke Wilson, who are this married couple, um, have tr car trouble, and... Uh, they stay at this motel, and, and, you know, they find out a lot more stuff that's going on with this motel that they're staying at. But I don't want to ruin it if you, if, if any of you haven't seen it, but it, it is a really cool one, and they did a prequel, too, I think about two years after this one, um, which I, which gets a bad reviews, but I thought it was just as good as this, in, in my opinion. I don't think it's, I don't think that's on Blu-ray, though. Um, and then, of course, um, next one, everyone knows this one. I actually mainly rewatched it because, uh, my coworker was telling me about a month ago that Ryan Philippi, uh, was at our job, our, our workplace, um, and, you know, I know what you did last summer here on Blu-ray, um, and, you know, everyone knows this movie. You know, it's about, you know, the group of friends who run this guy over by accident and they try to, they cover the body up and it's them, like, um, promising each other they won't tell anyone. And, of course, a year later, um, Jennifer Love Hewitt's character, she gets a, uh, a letter in the mail. Someone knows what, what, what they did and they're trying to figure out who it is. And, of course, um, murders are starting to happen, um. Now, you guys know this movie. Um, of course, they did, you know, two sequels. I still know, and then I'll always know. Uh, along with a TV series that I did not give two shits about. I actually, I was so bored with that show. I actually, you know, it took me about two months to finish. Because it was just so freaking boring. Um, but uh, they're supposed to be doing another, from what I heard of last year, they're supposed to be doing another... Um, movie in this franchise, you know, I think they're supposed to be bringing back, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. and, uh, um, Jennifer Love Hewitt, which I'm very, which honestly I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing. I, I don't know if, I can't remember if, uh, what's his name's gonna be involved with it, Kevin Williamson? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that, but, uh, I did hear something about that last year, but I, I'm, I'm very inter interested in seeing that. Uh, this next, this last one on Blu-ray I got, um, this one, this one was alright, um, you know, I, I, I love, uh, Jordan Lag. you know, she was in Cabin Fever, um, it was just alright, it was, it was her, um, it's, it was a movie called Grace on, uh, Blu-ray, it was mainly her, um, you know, um, right as she's getting ready to have her baby, I think it was her husband, her boyfriend, gets into an accident, and it's just her and the baby, and, you know, the baby's, like, eat, like, eating flies, and, like, drinking blood, and, you know, and basically there's something wrong with the baby, that's, that's mainly what the movie's about, but, um, I don't know, this, this one didn't really do it for me, I, I, I did actually review it, actually, on a Halloween special, like, two years ago, I, I was just like, Ugh. but I, I did try it one more time, I, I just can't get into it, man. I mean, I, I think it does get a lot of bad reviews anyway. Um, I mean, Jordan Lyatt's pretty cool. I've always liked her, again. I, I, I've always liked her from, a, you know, Cabin Fever. I think she's the daughter of uh, Cheryl Lad, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, uh, Grace on uh, the Blu-ray. All right, now I want to the DVDs. All right, this, uh, this first one here on DVD I have. Again, it's, you know, it's, I guess, kid horror. I mean, I wouldn't exactly, like, put it up, like, straight horror, but, you know, it's always great to watch the show, and you're, and these movies, too, you're never too old to watch them, um, in my opinion, um, but we got Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13th Ghost here on DVD, um, this is actually something I found out of the Big Lots a few months ago, or actually, not too long ago, actually, uh, you know, um, and, of course, everyone knows what Scooby-Doo is, you know, about the dog trying to solve these mysteries and everything. Uh, this was mainly them um, trying to, like, find this ghost, um, like, hunt down this ghost that's in, um... I forgot exactly where it is that they... what they do. Um, I forgot what they do exactly in this one, but it, it was them trying to find find this ghost. Um, but, um, you know, 
Scooby Doo was always pretty cool. I've always liked watching it. Uh, this next one right here, and I did not really need this one because I technically had like a bootleg Blu ray of it. I got the real thing for right now, uh, just cause, you know, um, cause I, I do, cause, um, it was way before, you know, this DVD w was announced. So maybe it'll come out the Blu ray, like, um, from a burn on demand or something. But it was, um, it was a movie I actually reviewed again a few months ago called Sick on a DVD. Uh, this was actually the uh, Peacock original uh, movie right here. Um, of course, it's from the creators of Scream and Megan. And Kevin Williamson was actually, he wrote and produced this movie. So, really cool to see, you know, Kevin Williamson come back and do a movie like this. Um, it was mainly about the pandemic. Um, you know, it, it takes place around, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic. And um, it's basically... Um, these two girls who are staying at this um, this lake house um, due to to the um, to the pandemic, and uh, someone is actually stalking them, trying to hunt them down. Um, that's mainly all you can say, but it's got like this very shocking twist. Um, probably one of the best movie twists I've, I've seen in a long time. It actually, in a way, did feel a little bit like a uh, M Night Shyamalan movie when it came to this. I mean, to me, it did. Um, but no features on it or anything. But uh. It is on Peacock. I think, as far as I know, it still is. I, I don't know, but it was a Peacock original. So, um, yeah, uh, sick. Got that. These last two DVDs, I am going to sell. Um, you know, we got Varsity Blood here on a uh, DVD. This was one I found at a uh, Dollar Tree. I think actually like two years ago. This was, it was kind of it was kind of like a screen movie. It was mainly about um, someone was going around um, a group. Group of these friends, I think they were having this party, and um, someone was um, dressed up as one of the mascots of the school, taking them out one by one. Um, I think I forgot what the mascot looked like. Now it doesn't, it doesn't even show it. In, in the, that's that's the thing. It doesn't even show it. it was I think it was like a chicken costume or something. I, I don't know. It was it was it was very strange, kind of like costume. And, um, and then this last one right here, I thought this one was all right. Um, called Beneath here on Blu-ray, or, I'm um, sorry, DVD. Um, this was mainly, um, a girl who's, I think, she, she comes back to this town or something, and, uh, I, I can't remember exactly all these movies by heart, uh, but it, I think it was her coming back to the town that she used to, that she grew up in, and, um, I think her sister passed away, I think it was in a car accident, um, and she's, like, having, like, these visions of her sister, um, something like that. I don't exactly remember, but, uh, again, there's no features on this one. Um, same thing with Varsity, uh, I blood, there's no features on it, but, uh, that is it. That is the last video for October. Um, you know, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Um, I hope you guys watched some great, cool horror movies. Um, but thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.